Hey, Dr. John Russell here. Hey, you know that some people go through their days and their weeks and their lives waiting and almost bracing for the next bad thing to happen. Even when things are going well in their life, they're just waiting for you know, the next shoe to drop, the ax to fall, for something terrible to happen. In this short video, I'm gonna explain why that is and what you can do about it to change it. a few reasons for that and I think it runs a little bit more deeply than simply that the person has a negative or pessimistic mindset that makes them prone or susceptible to depressive thinking. I think there's more going on than simply that. Here's a couple of ideas. Listen to them. Let me know what you think. Give me your feedback uh, in the comments section or in an email back to me. Some people are protecting themselves against the the deep sort of stomach dropping disappointment that comes from hoping and enjoying things go really well and then discovering something bad happens and, and like that drop hurts so much that what they do is they actually protect themselves from that drop by never getting too hopeful, never really enjoying what they have in the present moment. And of course, that's kind of a tragedy because life at the end of the day, life is meant to be enjoyed. Here's another reason for this, for this crazy phenomenon of um, feeling bad when things are good. And that is, uh, this is an idea I'm borrowing from a guy by the name of Dr. Joe Dispenza that he calls it uh, being addicted to the hormones of stress. So just like a conventional addiction to drugs and alcohol, we can be addicted to the the neurohormones and neurotransmitters uh, and, and hormones in the bloodstream that are related to chronic stress, cortisol, adrenaline. And so um, feeling bad when things are going good is actually, is actually just sort of engaging in the, just in the addiction. Not conscious choice, of course, this is like an unconscious autonomic nervous system process. But at the end of the day, that's another explanation for why people are feeling bad or feeling dread, even when things are good, or maybe even especially when things are going well in their life. <clears throat> well, here's a third reason, and this is gonna take a little bit more to unpack, and, and that is that uh, when we experience trauma um, in our mind and body, in our mind particularly, we're actually experiencing what I call a, a hyper-learning event. The adrenaline that gets released through through acute stress, it does two things. It creates a, a hyper learning activity. So the, the things that are true at that moment of trauma become very, very true. And they become sort of the things that feel true and believable for the rest of life. So it's a hyper learning event. So then what happens is that in the, the hyper learning event of the acute trauma, there's sort of this conditioning or this conditioned uh, association. So life is going well. I'm just, you know, going through my life zippity doo dah. Things are going well. And then the, the terrible trauma happens. And in the mind, unconsciously, those two things get associated. When things go well, that means that things are going to go terribly bad. And so for the person, you know, fast forward to present day life, when the person is, in, is, is experiencing good things in life, it's actually a signal in their subconscious that things are about to go very bad. And so there we have it, we have this association. And so, uh, and so the person becomes feeling bad and feeling dread, feeling, um, you know, that, that feeling of it's just a moment, it's just going to be um, a little bit of time before things go terribly bad. They're, they're experiencing the dread, the anticipation of something bad happening because things are going well, because that was the learning that they created in the hyper learning experience of the acute trauma event. All right, so there's three ideas. Uh, maybe it's simply depressive thinking. Uh, maybe it is uh, addicted to the hormones of stress. 
and maybe it is the uh, a trauma uh, reaction things going well means in the mind of the person that things are about to go just badly hey let me know what you think about these things let me know which one seems most true for you or the people that you help if you're a, if you're a helper and uh, let's get a conversation going in your either in the comment section of this youtube video or uh, or by uh, direct message or, or email. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel. I've got lo lots of um, videos coming out with lots of really cool and uh, a little bit provocative uh, information. Love for you to, uh, to listen and let me know what you think and love for you to, to be the first um, to know when a new video is released.